In situations where you have a recording that was captured through a lavalier mic clipped to the speaker shirts, you might gonna end it up in problems caused by the shirt rubbing against the microphone. Let's see how the Derasto module works with this kind of problems. All right, we're back inside Pro Tools, same as before. I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of the content that was recorded through a lavalier mic so we can spot the problem. Dealing with lavalier microphones in most cases means dealing with a lot of the actor's uh, indument noises. As a matter of fact, right now I'm wearing a lavalier microphone and as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derastal module. All right, clearly we have some problems. I'm going to send this. Actually, before I do this, duplicate this, create my playlist. Now I can actually send the original file back into Rx. And here we have it. Dealing with lavalier microphones in most cases means dealing with a lot of the actor's uh, indument noises. As a matter of fact, right now I'm wearing a lavalier microphone and as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm gonna try to remove this noise with the Derastal module. Okay, so first and foremost, um, I have no rustle noise in the first part of the, of the dialogue. We're gonna start analyzing uh, halfway through it. As you can see as soon as I start moving. Okay, so from here. So time selection tool, I'm gonna make a selection, make sure to include this first part. Okay, so from here I'm gonna open the Derastal module. Here it is. Now this module is pre-programmed to detect, uh, you know, kinds of sounds caused by lavalier microphone rustles. So uh, there is no control to adjust the sensitivity or anything like that. We have to go with the compare button until we find a good balance between the reduction strength and the ambience preservation. Now the ambient preservation slider lets you add a little bit more of the natural background noise back into the, to fill in pretty much for the sound that was removed by the DeRussell module. So I'm generally going to leave this at 100 as a starting point. Whereas the, the reduction strength, uh, the more we move it to the right, the more that the Russell will start reducing a lot of, of the problems with, of course, with the trade-off of introducing a lot of artifacts. So we need to be very cautious of the level of the reduction strength. So I'm going to give it a pass and put my reduction strength at 4 and compare this with the original. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derastal module. All right, I'm going to increase the reduction strength to 7. Phone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having... Okay, second setting phone and as you can see as soon as I start moving I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm gonna try to remove this noise with the Derastal module. Let's see what happens if I go into some of the presets and let's see if I click on extreme rustle which in this case has put the, the reduction strength at the maximum. I'm gonna compare this again Phone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derastal module. Okay, I'm going to render this and then just give another set of renders to the part that I think still needs some help with that. Phone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. All right, I'm going to render a second time. Let's see how many damages we have caused. 
microphone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. Okay, we still have a little bit of the noise over there. So what I'm going to do is to reduce a little bit the strength to 7 and give it a couple of extra passes. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. A little bit more. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. Okay. So we got our initial state, and I'm going to go through the history menu here. Phone, and as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. And after a couple of passes of our Derustal module. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. All right. Of course, this was a very quick fix. I think that if we would spend a little bit more time, we could fine tune in a more detailed way. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, we have achieved our mission. So I'm going to send this back into Pro Tools. Go back on our RX playlist and render the file. So I'm going to play the file from halfway through, from where the problem was. Uh, I'm going to go back to the original. Microphone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. And Derustal. Microphone. And as you can see, as soon as I start moving, I'm having the lavalier microphone rustling against my shirt. I'm going to try to remove this noise with the Derustal module. So as you could see, even if we didn't spend a lot of time analyzing it, the Derustal module did an excellent job reducing a lot those very nasty and unwanted scratches caused by the lavalier microphone. And this concludes our Derustal module tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.